Hello and welcome to Power to the People with me, Graham Price. As I've mentioned before, I go to a guitar practice session every Wednesday and as usual I did yesterday. But before I set off, I did my usual morning routine of checking my sub counts, answering any comments and catching up on a bit of news. With reports saying that far-right thugs were intending to attack up to a hundred places and it began circulating the names and addresses of hotels holding asylum seekers and solicitors that worked with asylum seekers. I walked to my practice session with my heart almost as heavy as the guitar on my back. I came back about five o'clock and had a quick check up on the news hearing that all sorts of places were gearing up for another Farage riot. And as I wasn't working on anything yesterday, I decided I just didn't want to hear it anymore and turned the telly off. Fell asleep on the couch for a few hours and turned the news on again at about 10 o'clock. Thought I'd do a quick video today to give you my opinion of what I saw right after this. Hey, sorry to interrupt, just a quick interjection. The best way to help the channel and beat the algorithms is to hit the like button, leave a comment when we're done and subscribe if you haven't already. If you really want to help the channel, then hit the join button below or make a donation through PayPal or buy me a coffee. The links are in the description box. It's all very much appreciated indeed. Thank you. I didn't immediately realise what I was looking at. At first, I thought the crowds of thousands had gathered to make this the biggest riot yet. Then I noticed the words anti-racism protesters scrolling across the bottom of the screen. I was shocked when the riots happened, of course. But people like me, and probably you, have probably known for years that the likes of Farage, Robinson, Hopkins and Tate and company are a danger to society. And the Conservative Party have pandered to them rather than trying to stamp them out for the last 14 years. But it would be fair to say my jaw dropped when I realised what I was looking at. I was starting to see that the banners and flags weren't saying stop the boat or Muslims out or toot for Tommy. They were saying racists not welcome here or stop the far right or smash fascism and racism. Sentiments I agree with entirely. I thought give it an hour, let them sink a few more stellars and toot a bit more coke up their snouts. And these things will turn into massive street brawls. Didn't happen like that though, did it? All of us, every single one of us, that was appalled and disgusted by the scenes on our streets in the last few days. Whether they be black, white or somewhere in between. And whether they be Muslim, Hindu, Christian, Sikh or have no religion. I'd come together to say what the racists were saying earlier in the week. Enough is enough. I'm not ashamed to say I got a little bit emotional. <laughs> I've always had a steadfast belief that decency will eventually triumph over disgrace. While the likes of Farage and Robinson try to suggest otherwise, what we saw last night was the best example of this country proving it isn't racist, it isn't stupid and it isn't gullible. It was a triumph of decency and equality. Now, of course, I'm not naive and I know that this isn't the end. There's been a few incidents reported today that show there's clearly some deep-rooted problems in society. And I don't doubt there will have been a few anti-immigration protesters that thought they were going to a peaceful protest and turned straight around when they saw that it was a riot. I also don't doubt there's a lot of young lads who just went there for a fight and to see what was happening who don't even know what far left or far right even means. Hey lad, kicking off in town. Look sick, mate. Do you want to go down there and see what's occurring, kid? Yeah, lad. Just give me five minutes to get me north face top and say to her to me, nan. I'll be on it like a car bonnet, kid. Let's hope they've smashed the windows of JD so I can get some new trainers. I'm not sure putting lads like that in jail for years will particularly help anything. They'll probably come out worse than they went in. But we have just elected a, a lawyer as the Prime Minister, so it's not really surprising that they've gone with the harsh deterrent action, is it? I wasn't very happy to hear that a Labour councillor, Ricky Jones, had been arrested with reports saying he was held on suspicion of encouraging murder and for an offence under the Public Order Act. Well, I went and watched the video and I have to say I agree with them arresting him and I agree with the Labour Party suspending him. What he said was definitely not right. Also, the wife of a Conservative councillor has been arrested after a tweet in which she directly encouraged her undoubtedly far-right supporters to burn down hotels with asylum seekers in them. 
Frankly, I hope they both lose their jobs and face the full force of the law. They aren't just an idiot going there for a, another look or another dumbass that believes Nigel Farage is a reincarnation of St George. They should have known better. And finally, the reports of stickers with fascist logos on them and a Stanley blade attached to the back being found on trains in Kent are very disturbing. I can't quite see or work out whether they were intending to try and stop decent people scraping the stickers off without hurting themselves or if they thought they were hiding weapons to use for their revolution. But there's also reports of razors and Stanley blades being found embedded in seats, so I'm, I'm tempted to suspect it's the former rather than the latter. The type of people who do things like that are not frightened of jail time. To people like them, it's an occupational hazard. Thank you for watching if you've gotten this far. I don't know about you, but I can't quite see how Farage and Robinson can come out of this unscathed. But then, we do live in a country where rich, far-right monsters get seats in Parliament rather than seats in the clink, so who knows. Apparently Robinson and Farage have been arguing amongst themselves about it since, though. I find that pretty hilarious, and I'd imagine you do too. Leave a comment and let me know how you think about how things went last night, and how you feel about it all today. I think we've seen the old adage that bullies are always cowards when somebody stands up to them. Be proven right once again, haven't we? Please do hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've noticed there are quite a lot of people that watch my videos that aren't subscribed. And they can't all be just nutters that saw Farage in the thumbnail and came to call me lefty scum. As always, there's links to PayPal, Patreon and Ko-Fi in the description box. And I finally managed to get my memberships going again. I'll be doing a bit of an overhaul of it all next time I release the video, but the button's there if you want to use it in the meantime. So I suppose all that remains to say is that's not all I've got to say, but it's as much of what I've got to say as I'm going to say today. Ta-ra-la. -la. You never guess what, mate. I think I've just made a fucking video without any swearing in it for the first time ever. What do you think of that?